How's it going? And welcome to what's ECW number six. And yeah, so I wanted to talk about the summer of 94. The games I played, and I did mention that uh, I was going to do some games. I did a couple already. Mario Kart. Uh, what was the other one I did? Uh, What's the other one I did? Um, I just did it. I can't remember what it is. Um, but I had a stream the other day. Mega Man 5. Mega Man 5. Okay, so Mega Man 5. The summer of 94. Games of the summer of 94. 1994 in general was a great year for Nintendo. I remember when they had the Play It Loud campaign. Or the, whatever you call it. 94, Play It Loud. They would do these commercials about upcoming games. Nintendo games, Super Punch-Out. Um, Super Metroid. I think Stunt Race FX was one of them. I think it was Nintendo advertising Nintendo made games not like capcom super street fighter or whatever because that's another great game they came out in 94 that i enjoyed and I, but not just summer 94 the whole i mean the whole year 94 is great so i might as well just talk about the whole year in gaming in 1994 and 94 was quite a year for me in in life and 1994 i uh long story short i ended up having to live with my dad in georgia and so I lived with my dad uh, for only four months. And it was four long, four long months because I really missed my friends back in, in my home state of Texas. And so, but in 94, that was where I discovered a lot of great games that I love to this day. I hope I don't forget any of them. Um, I'm going to start streaming the games of the summer of 94 not all the games i loved in 1994 I have time for all of them i kind of want to maybe a couple more games going to stream um later on i'll mention them in this video um the games that i discovered in 94 I, I discovered while i was living with my dad in georgia during the winter months in 94 i discovered shinobi 3 for genesis i just dis i discovered castlevania bloodlines i think i was watching a wrestling program one night where I was, it was WCW Worldwide Wrestling, one of those late, one, it was a show, it was like a, a show that came on real late at night, and maybe like at one o'clock in the morning or something, and it's like a one hour program, it shows some replays of what happened that earlier that week on, on WCW Saturday night, because Nitro wasn't a thing yet. And it would show commercials of stuff. And one of the things it showed commercials of was games. Well, actually, I don't know if it was Worldwide Wrestling or another show. I think it was a show called Scratch. Where well, I forgot what the heck it was about, but I would watch it. And one of the reasons why I would watch it, because at the end, they would show you, like, commercials of games uh, about to be released or whatever. And, <clears throat> excuse me. One of those games I saw, the commercial was freaking... Castlevania Bloodlines, and I'm like, there's a Castlevania game for Sega Genesis? Are you kidding me? So yeah, I discovered Castlevania Bloodlines a commercial from that show Scratch, or WCW Worldwide. I forgot, it was one of those late night shows at the time that came on. And man, I uh, I was like, okay then. So that during that time, my dad would let me rent video games here and there. I rented several games. I rented Ninja Turtles tur uh, Tournament Fighters for Genesis. I hated that one. Taz for Genesis. Or Tasmania, whatever it was called. Didn't like that. I rented uh, Sonic Spinball. I did not like that. I'm trying to think, what else did I rent? Um, oh, well, Shinobi 3 and Castlevania Bloodlines. Uh, was definitely two of the games I rented, and I ended up loving those games. Shinobi 3, I was, I went to, I would rent video games at a Kroger grocery store. I don't know if Kroger, I think Kroger is still around. Not in my area, but the area I lived at in Georgia with my dad, Kroger was around. And you could also rent video games at the time, which shocked me. I'm like, this is a grocery store. You can rent video games here? Cool, okay, let's go. So I rented 
Shinobi 3, I rented Castlevania Bloodlines, and man, I fell in love with those games real quick. And to this day, I love Castlevania Bloodlines Shinobi 3. It's hard to choose which one I think is my uh, more my favorite. I probably gotta go with Castlevania Bloodlines, man. Both games have great soundtracks, but it might be the soundtrack and just my, my love for Castlevania overall. I, I love the Castlevania series more than I do Shinobi series. The only Shinobi games I really ever played was the original one in the arcade and on Master System, and then Shinobi 3. I did play Revenge of Shinobi, I think for the members only stream, I did not like that. I think I think it was Revenge of Shinobi I played for Genesis, did not like that one. Shinobi 3 I love, but Castlevania Bloodlines, man, what a great game. Just the soundtrack, the music, the sound effects. You go to options and listen to all the sound effects. There's, it's in three digits. There's so much sound effects. There's so many sound effects in that game. And I enjoyed Castlevania Bloodlines so much. The aura, just the... I mean, Castlevania Bloodlines is well done. I love Bloodlines so much. What other games did I discovered in 94? Uh, well, Super Metroid was released. I played that. I just streamed it. I just streamed that game for the 30th anniversary uh, not too long ago. Of course, Super Street Fighter was coming home to, to the home consoles. I played it in the arcade that year. In 94, I went to a local Circle K convenience store and I played Super Street Fighter. I wanted to play it so bad when I first heard about it the year prior. In 93, Nintendo Power Magazine was talking about it. And, and then I played it in the arcades and then finally later on that summer, I remember the promo. The promo it showed an ad where it showed a kid wearing a jacket and it said "Super" on his on the back of his jacket, and it said, "Yeah, we on the streets this summer." And they was talking about Super Street Fighter, and I got it for the SNES. I rented it a lot first, and then I finally got it for Christmas in '94 as my own game, to where I didn't have to rent it anymore. So I now had it as my the uh, game that I own. Super Street Fighter for this and yes. So there's that. Uh, Mega Man X came out in 93. I did not get to play it until I believe the summer of 94. Uh, that was great. Uh, Ninja Turtles Tournament Fires for the SNES. Now that was the version that I loved so much. I loved TMNT Tournament Fighters for the SNES. That was a great game. Stunt Race FX was another game. I did not really fully get into it. I didn't think it was bad. I did not get into it. But Stunt Race FX the initials start out, at least the game, the copy that I rented, the initials automatically, you know when you put your initials in, it by default is AAA, the letters AAA, well this time the letters RLG, that's like my initials, and I thought that was cool, so, but, and of course Mortal Kombat 2 came out in the home consoles, I got the SNES version that year, in October, Mortal Kombat 2. Nintendo Power showed all the secret, all the fatalities, the secret codes, cheats, and all that stuff. That was, man, that was fun, dude. I enjoyed Mortal Kombat 2 and the SNES so much. And so my, my whole year of 1994, what about you guys? Now, I know, Val, you said you were, you were born in 94, so you don't, you didn't have the, the, the luxury of uh, enjoying the games of 94. In that, in that time period. Those of you who are old enough, what are some of your favorite games for the whole year of 1994 only? You know what, you don't have to be a game that was released in 94. It could be a game that you first discovered in 94. I mean, I just like to talk about 94 a lot because that was a great year of my life. And that summer I got to move back to Texas and reconnect with my friends and family and play some great games. Video games are a big part of my life in 94. Some of the greatest memories I had in my life were playing those video games in 94 and in the summer in particular. Super Street Fighter, Mega Man X, I finally rented from Blockbuster when I rented Mega Man X that night. I played it for seven hours straight. I played it for seven hours straight. From 12 a.m. to 7 a.m. Until I finally got to Sigma's Fortress because I did not know how to beat the game. And now I can breeze through it. It's my first time playing Mega Man X. I was getting my butt kicked at it. My mom had made me go to bed. 
because she's like, you've been staying up all night playing this game. You need to go to bed. You need to go to bed. I didn't want to go to bed. Yeah, I wanted to play more. But yeah, I was, man, seven hours straight. That was a, one of the, some of the best seven hours of my life. I'll tell you that, man. Playing uh, Mega Man X for the first time. And I wanted to get that game so bad when I, when I found out about that they were making it. I wanted Mega Man X so bad, I had to dream about it one night when I was a kid. Like, just dreaming about it, how it may look like what if, I, if I play it or whatever. And the Play It Loud campaign, Summer of 94. Man, dude, that's some of the greatest memories of my life playing those video games, dude. In 94. Whether they, they were just released that year or they were games I discovered for the first time. It was a great uh, NBA Jam, I believe. I might have played NBA Jam at that time to discover that. That was fun. Yeah, that's right. NBA Jam was another great game. A part of my uh, childhood. <coughs> Excuse me. Childhood in the summer of 94. NBA, the original NBA Jam. For the SNES. All the cheat codes and Nintendo Power Magazine and stuff. Good times, man. It was good times. NBA Jam, that is my jam. Um... I'm trying to think of some more games I might have missed. I don't know. Uh, oh, I think Tecmo, Super Tecmo Bowl for the SNES was fun. I also played the Genesis version uh, while I was in Georgia. I think when I moved back to Texas later on, and probably around the summer of the fall of 94, I rented Super Tecmo Bowl for the SNES. That was fun. And that's probably it. That's probably the only games I can think of that I really... I, don't, I can't remember if it was a 94 or 95 when I first played Link to the Past. It sounds more like maybe 95, I'm not sure. But those games, uh, that's, especially the ones that stand out uh, to me personally, Super Metroid, Mega Man X, Super Street Fighter, I had fun with those games that summer 94. So, yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed that year. For personal reasons and as far as video game wrestling too i enjoyed wrestling um of course back in you guys know me um old school wrestling fan the summer of 94 wcw was getting real popular because hulk hogan was arriving sting was wrestling rick flair i mean hulk hogan being there showing up in the summer of 94 um he became the world champion so 94 is a great year for me so that's pretty much my year in review. I mean, it's a much longer story to my, my my life in 94, but it was a roller coaster, man. In January, I moved to Georgia with my dad. I made some friends there. It wasn't all bad memories, but for the most part, I was homesick. I had a dream of moving back home again to see my friends again. And then it came to pass maybe like a, a month or so later I had the opportunity to move back. My dad said, do you want to move back? I said, yeah. I was afraid to say yeah because he might be disappointed because, you know, he, I'm his son. He wanted me to live with him. I said, yeah, are you are you sad? He goes, well, yeah, I'm going to be sad that you're gone, but I understand you want to be home with your friends, and I know you miss your friends. If you want to do that, that's fine. You know, no hard feelings. So I was able to move back to my mom again, and, yeah, I was able to... Um, be reunited with my friends again and then discover more awesome games and that's some of the best memories of my life right there so yeah that's some of the best memories of my life that's my year in review 1994 um dang it's freaking shirt missing a button i know you want to see me without a shirt like megadan and mazen but that's not going to happen um yeah, so what was your life like in 1994, whether it be video game related, wrestling related, or whatever? Uh, that's my thoughts. Or, I mean, it don't even have to be about 94. Um, what was some of the best years of your life, particularly in gaming, since this is a gaming channel? These What's ECW videos don't have to be about video games. But I'd like to hear your thoughts on what year stands out in your life where you have so many great memories of video games. I don't care what year it is, 2001, 2004, 94, 95. 
what are some of the best gaming years of your life? To me, I just wanted to share my life in 1994, video games in particular. So, all right, guys, that is it. I am out of here. Have a good night. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.